Stephanie and Zoe and we're here with our family game night video. We are playing a game called Cranium Kadoo. I love the Cranium games because they get the kids up and active and creating and it's just a lot of fun. Um, so we'll, we will be showing you how to play that game and we're also giving one of these away on the blog so make sure that you come over and enter the giveaway. I'm going to put a link in the, in the description so that you can come to the blog and enter because we're giving one away. Yay! Um, we are doing goldfish um, from Pepperidge Farm and they are the new Disney Pixar Cars themed goldfish. So we love goldfish. They are a classic snack that we just love um, in our household. But these are so cool because they have little Lightning McQueen's shaped crackers and then of course they have the regular goldfish too. Plus they're healthy and yummy and they're just a big favorite around our house. So this is our snack. Um, okay, so Cranium Kadoo. It's really easy um, gameplay. It's just a lot of fun. It's more about being creative and active than anything else. Um, but the object is to get four in a row. So either up and down, across, or diagonal using your playing pieces. There's four different sets of playing pieces. There's only two of us playing though. So there's also a yellow and a green set. Um, they give you solo cards and combo cards and we'll kind of explain how those work here in a minute. You get a pad of paper to draw on, clay so that you can shape things. You've got a secret decoder mask that you can read the answers on the cards. You've got a dice, a timer, I think that's everything that comes in the box. Um, so we will kind of just show you how to play a little bit. Uh, we don't have time to do a whole game because it takes about 30 minutes to an hour to play an entire game. But um, it's for our ages 7 and up. Um, but it is a lot of fun. Um, younger kids can probably pay, play this, but they might need help. Because um, there's trivia questions in it too. So, um, But if you're playing teams and stuff where you might have like an older player paired with a younger player, it'd probably be fine. Um, it is for play, um, two or more players. So um, we're playing with two, but um, like I said, there's four sets. And then you can also play teams. So you can do, you know, even more players if you want to. And we will be playing it later on. Uh, with the entire family. We're just doing two right now to kind of show you how to play. Um, okay, so to start out, we just kind of set everything out and Zoe will roll the dice and it's either going to say combo or solo or I choose. So she got a combo, so she's going to pick a combo card. Oh, yeah. And it's going to just read the card and then it'll tell you what to do. And as long as you get it done in the time then you get to put a circle out for combo cards. Um, she's going to have to make something. And then if I guess it within the time period, then we both get to put uh, a play a piece out. So what's it say? Read it out loud. Secret word, no talk. Let me see. Okay, it says, I use clay to make the secret word, no talking. Everyone guesses. If you shout it first, you both place tokens in the same spot. I choose the spot. Okay, so as you can see, there's like a red box down here. You use that little glasses and she will be able to see what it says. And then she's going to try to make it out of clay and I have to guess what it is. So she can't tell me what it is. So try to make that and I'm going to try to guess. So set our timer. Uh, mushroom? Oh, uh, yeah. Yay! Okay, you get to pick the spot. Wait, I, I put it down? Yeah, you get to put a piece and pick the spot, and then I put mine on top of yours. So we share it, but we both get to count it as one of our spots for our four. The only thing is with combos, you can't get your fourth spot with a combo card. It has to be with a solo card. So if, like, I had a piece here and a piece here, and this was... 
the spot and it was a combo card, I couldn't choose this spot because it would give me my fourth one. It would have to be a solo card, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'll roll the dice and I get to choose. So I'm gonna choose a solo card. And it says, I read the question out loud and make my guess. You check my answer. If I'm right, I place my token. Think of a word that means both things. Famous people who live in Hollywood and things in the night sky, which is, set our timer. It is a star. So she's going to check my answer. Uh, I think that is. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put one right there then. Okay, then Zoe will go again. But, yeah. Oops. Solo. She got a solo card. I read the question out loud and make my guess. You check my answer. If I'm right. I placed my token. Which of these animals did not hatch from the egg? Um, Which one doesn't B. come from an egg? E. Let me see what are the options. Uh, we have a fish, a shark it looks like, and an alligator. So which one didn't no, come from an egg? That looks like a dolphin to me. Oh, maybe it's a dolphin. Probably. Wait, wrong side. Oh, I didn't set the timer. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, it was B. You got it right? Yeah. Okay, put a purple piece out. There you go. Combo card. Combo. Oh. Um, I act out the secret word, no talking. Everyone guesses if you shout it first. We both place a token in the same spot. Choose the spot. Let me see if this is something I can act out. Wait, I have a really hard time seeing these. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Uh, I can't do it with one hand. Clapping? Clapping. Okay, you got it right. So you, actually I got it in the time period so I get to pick the spot, don't I? Okay, and then you get to put yours on top of mine. Okay, you see kind of see how it's playing. So the next time I get a solo card, I'm gonna try to go here as long as she doesn't block me. And then um, we just okay. keep playing. The combo cards are more like action. You act things out. There's some that you have to draw. There's some that you do with the clay. There's some that you act out. The solo cards are more trivia type things. Like it was questions that you had to answer, but they're pretty easy um, so that younger kids can play it too. Um, and then there's some where it'll say like, run and get two objects and be back before the time runs out. And it'll tell you like, get something that'll slide under a door and something you can hang on a doorknob. So you have to run around the house and try to find them and come back in a minute. Um, so it's a lot of fun. It's really active and creative and gets their minds working. So it's a really fun game, action packed, full of laughs. Um, so that is our game. Like I said, I'm gonna put a description in the comment, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna put a link in the description um, where you can come to the blog and read our full review as well as information about our goldfish. And I'm gonna put a giveaway on the blog so that you can try to win this board game. So make sure to come and check it out. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear your questions and comments. Just put them in the comment section and I will try to answer them for you. Um, thank you so much for watching our videos. We love doing our family game night posts. Um, they've gotten a really great response from our readers and viewers. And we thank you guys so much for all your support. Um, as always, um, we'd love to hear your feedback. So thanks so much for watching and until next week.